Okay, welcome to the first lesson in Maya 7 um, Unlimited Ado um, Adobe uh, Alias is um, Maya 7 Unlimited This is the older version So first thing we're going to do is start a new project So you need to go File, down to Project, down to New We get some options come up. Make sure that the location is correct. It's browse. It's actually in the Maya folder. That's fine. Name the project. So we'll call this lessons in this case. Then come down to use defaults. Let that fill in. It will put all the relevant folders and relevant bitmaps and stuff in, in the correct places. And you can just accept that. That's fine. Okay, so now when we save the project, it will all be saved in this one folder called Lessons, which is exactly what we want. Okay, what we're going to do now is just create an object. If you come along to the Surface tab, which is here, make sure you're on, in here there's a little, um, a little tab there you want to select um, modeling and then you should get this tab appear up but if not hit the surface tab which should be there um, and we're going to create a square so what you do is we're going to create a NURBS cube so click the cube and you'll see it appear down here if you go to shading because at the moment we've got it in wireframe so that's all we're seeing so you want to hit the shading go smooth shade all then we've got the block. Now if you come over here, select the scale tool, you can drag from the middle and it will drag it up. You can drag from the red and it will pull it out. Or this, pull it out this way, pull it out that way. Okay, that's enough for this lesson. Just have a play around with all the, the uh, simple geometric shapes along here. You've got sphere, cube, cylinder, cone, torus, flat, plane. Don't worry about the revolve and any of those yet, we'll cover those later, but these are the one, two, three, four, five, six objects that you can play around with, have a bit of fun with. Just creating a, a sphere object now. Sometimes you'll get little panels come up. This is the move tool here, click the move tool sometimes things are buried in something else you can't see them but have a play with them as well have a play with the, the scale tool there and the move tool and just get used to moving it around in space okay that's it that's enough for this lesson um, just play around with those and then I'll see you in the next lesson where we'll we'll start to look at the display panels